Hi, this is Erling with Travel Trail Sale. You might have seen Judy and I out having some fun outdoor adventures. We love hiking, biking, and kayaking, cooking a tasty meal in the campground, or having a campfire with friends, and maybe even a tasty s'more. And we love having these outdoor adventures. And to be able to do that, we need to bring gear along. Sometimes that gear can be heavy and it adds up. So we've learned some lessons along the way about how to safely bring the gear that we need for a fun outdoor adventure. And we thought today we'd like to share a few tips with you so that you can think about uh, how to make sure you're having a great outdoor adventure. Now a lot of people start by asking, can I tow it? And I'd suggest that that's an okay starting question, but it's not really the question you should be asking. Rather, what I'd like you to do is envision the outdoor adventure you want to have, what gear you'll need, how much does all that gear weigh, and now think about can I safely tow it with all the factors in play in terms of what gear you've got, how heavy it is, and where you're loading it so that you can have a safe and comfortable ride to the campground. Now this isn't intended to be a comprehensive towing guide. I highly recommend you do a little research on your own, thinking through your tow vehicle, your camper, and your personal situation so that you can set up for a fun and safe drive to the campground. Outfitting a camper is kind of like outfitting a small house or an apartment. Think of all the things that you would need if you were going away for the weekend. You need to have clothes, towels, cookware, food, well all that has to come in the camper too. And every travel trailer is different. Our layout happens to have the bedroom in the front and the kitchen in the back. In the bedroom we're going to have things like our clothes and our towels. Under the bed there's storage where we keep things like fans and beverages like soda and water. In the back of the camper is where our kitchen is. And so we'll have the refrigerator there, all loaded up with food. And for the kitchen, we'll have all of our cookware and silverware. So pots and pans, knives and forks. All of that adds up to the weight that's in the camper. What we need to do is make sure that it's kind of balanced. Do you ever remember a time when you were a little kid and you went to the playground did you ever use a teeter-totter or a seesaw? They can be a lot of fun, right? One person goes up and the other person goes down. But those work best when both people are about the same weight. If one person is significantly heavier or lighter, well, it makes it less fun. What's like that with a camper? If you have too much weight in one end versus the other, it makes it, well, maybe less fun. So what you want to do is think through all of the things that you're bringing and where you're going to put them so that it's evenly distributed. When you're thinking through what you can bring, some items can go into your tow vehicle, your pickup, and some items can go into the camper. Each of those vehicles is going to have a total weight that it can carry. So it's important to know what that is. And then when you think through what goes into your pickup, that's all your people, your pets, any gear you're putting in the bed of the truck, kayaks on a rack, all of that weighs in. But in that total weight number, you also have to account for the hitch weight, how much weight the camper is putting onto the back, the hitch on the back of the truck. Now, what you bring along on your adventure might vary from what we do, but start thinking through the things that you're planning on bringing and it might be heavier and the weight might add up faster than you can imagine. Think about if you want to bring bicycles. Well, our bikes are about 30 pounds each. Or kayaks. How about a full tank of propane? Each of these things adds up. And in our blog post, we've actually got a sample of some of the things we bring along with the weights that they have. And now when you start to add that up, you have to think through where am I going to load that? Because if you put it in your truck versus your travel trailer and the front of the trailer versus the back of the trailer, it can have a big impact in, in terms of your safety and comfort. If you put too much weight on your hitch ball, it can actually then push down on the back of your truck, 
pushing up on the front of your truck. Think of a seesaw and how things move back and forth, right? If you're loading things in and you're putting too much weight towards the front of the camper and it raises the front of the pickup, you may not be able to steer as effectively as you'd like. On the other hand, if you have a lot of the weight towards the back of your camper and it raises it so it's lighter on the front, it can end up causing sway. There are some ways to mitigate that, like a sway control system, but the first step in being able to safely make it to your campground is to make sure that your travel trailer is load balanced with the right amount of weight getting onto that hitch ball. The rule of thumb for that is to have about 10%, maybe as much as 15, of the weight, the overall weight of your camper and everything in it on that hitch ball. If you go under that, again, you might end up with sway. If you go over that, you might end up with some steering issues. It's important to know how much weight is going to be on your hitch, how much weight the travel trailer is pressing down on the back of your pickup or tow vehicle. But how can you determine that? Well, one way to do that is actually to weigh it with a scale. And so we came across this interesting product we just bought a tongue weight scale. We got this one from eTrailer. It looks interesting. Now we don't have any relationship with them. We just thought this looked interesting and wanted to give it a try. So we're going to test out this tongue weight scale from eTrailer. And what we're gonna do is weigh the front of our travel trailer. It's all loaded up with full tanks of propane and a battery and a lot of the gear we would normally bring when we're camping. So we'll get that weight. And then we wanted to see, like if we're bringing extra gear along like our bicycles, how much extra weight does that add to the tongue weight? And so we'll load on a couple of bicycles and then weigh it again and see what the impact is. We've got the tongue weight scale in place. Let's go ahead and lower the camper and see if we can find out the weight. It looks like the tongue weight is about 960 pounds. Now we'll load two bikes on our Arvika bike rack and check the tongue weight again. We've got the bikes loaded and the scale in place. Let's go ahead and lower the trailer. With the bikes loaded, the tongue weight goes up just slightly to a thousand pounds. Well, I'm glad we measured that, and it looks like in our case, our tongue weight is in within range, and we can keep the bikes on the front of our camper. To summarize, plan your adventure, weigh your gear, balance your load, and measure your tongue weight. If you found this video helpful, you might also like our review of bike rack options, as well as how to transport kayaks. Thanks for joining us today. I hope this video was helpful and informative. And if it was, please let us know. We always appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by and we look forward to seeing you again real soon.